Turn my clock, I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop kind, I pop pistols. What it do YouTube, my name is Bear Witness and welcome back to the channel. Now it has been so long since I did a tutorial video for you guys. I think I haven't even done one for Call of Duty for real, uh, except for Blackout. I gave some tips on that, but now I'm going to give you guys a brand new way for you guys to get your Diamond and Dark Matter faster. Now, the game's been out for uh, about a month now, so a lot of people have heard about Dark Matter, have seen it, have wanted it, have been coveting it, have been trying to get it, but are struggling with their headshots and struggling to figure out the most efficient way, and I believe that I've found out the most efficient way. Now, this is strictly a matter of opinion, but personally, when I've looked it up in the past, all I heard was people say, oh, hey, go to hardcore, it's a lot easier. Now, I've been playing Call of Duty for the utmost of about, I'd say, uh, nine or ten years now so with them saying that you know playing in hardcore is the most effective way I can guarantee you it's not now for some people yes it is really easy and they know how the playstyle works but without them explaining and showing you guys the playstyle in which you should play in in order to make that work it's a lot of just wanting running around and getting one shot in especially in this game I feel like it's almost like incredibly hard to actually do anything in the game. In fact, even when trying to test it out once again, I found it very hard for me to do anything without being like con consistently shot by people on head glitches, and that's not very fun. It kind of makes the game frustrating, and it kind of gets a little bit boring. So if you guys are more of a fan of the straightaway, like I like to play the standard core modes, then this is a way that you guys can do it. Now yesterday, with the last update, they presented us with the option of playing on Nuketown. Now, from many experiences of playing on Nuketown, this is probably the best map for you to do anything on, whether it's long shots, whether whether it's you know uh, whether whether it's you know just getting kills in general, whether it's getting headshots, this is the map to do it on. Not only is it a fan favorite, but because it's a brand new map, you have a lot of new players willing to play on it as well because it's one of the featured playlists. That being said, it's a lot easy to catch people camping. It's a really easy way for you guys to also get lots of headshots on the more objective-based game modes. No, I'm not telling you guys to camp necessarily but in certain situations to get the headshots it is certain it is important to stay alive also bloodthirsties everything you want this is probably the most efficient map and that's why I'm glad this game keeps bringing it out because every year they bring it when it comes to black ops or Treyarch games so every year they bring it and every year it becomes one of the biggest staples of getting the challenges done now personally I'll show you guys here I got all of my tactical weapons diamond in only uh, I'd say a little bit over 30 hours of uh, like well probably less than that in game time but I mean it took me two days so as in like not in game time but two real day time um, I started on the weapons slightly before the map dropped and then after the map dropped I was able to notice that I got a lot of attachments I mean not of attachments sorry I got a lot of headshots I was able to consistently keep those up and I'm not even anything special I think that like uh, when it comes to it I think you're supposed to have like a 13% headshot percentage like some of the best players in the world according to prestigious key I don't know if you guys have seen his YouTube channel if you guys haven't you guys should go check him out but there was an argument between him and the first guy that ever got diamond um, or dark matter they said he was boosting man because his headshot uh, challenge wasn't high enough and they mentioned that I think the highest is like 13 14 percent um, and I don't have a really high one. I only have a 12%. So it's like, it's not just that I'm a headshot machine. I do f feel like that uh, with this like with this map it is very effective to use ACOG especially if you're using any weapons that can have ACOG on it because that like diamond shape kind of I don't know I haven't looked through reticles but that diamond shape I play a lot of Rainbow Six so um, I got used to using that diamond shape uh, type of reticle that ACOG to allow me to get headshots on certain angles so I found it effective for me that might not be effective for you but guys I hope you enjoyed this this video like like I said this is probably the best way that you guys can get anything done. It's what I I, I personally will do if I have any weapons I want. Um, Bloodthirsties sometimes can be hectic. That's lobby to lobby. Um, but yeah, throughout the game, you'll be able to pretty much do whatever you need to do to get um, almost any of your weapons. Whether it's snipers, whether it's long shots. You can even get long shots on this map. So there is tons of things that you would be able to do. And this is like a... a, a I've, 
consider this a really dope way for you guys to get it done if you guys are struggling with it because i know that a lot of community uh, a lot of the community is new some of you guys didn't even play the play bo2 some of you guys did play bo2 but you know stopped playing for uh you know a couple of years so who knows you know, I, I go for BO2 instead of BO3, even though I should probably say BO3 based on the fact that BO3 had Dark Matter. But, you know, in every Black Ops game uh, that I could, you know, I, I, I got gold in Black Ops 1, the gold camo at Prestige 12. I got, or was it Prestige 14? I, I forget that. I got all of my guns diamond inside of, uh, in BO2. I got Dark Matter in BO3. Um, and, you know, now I'm headed for dark matter on this game it's just with me actually doing youtube and making youtube videos it's been make it's been making that grind a little bit difficult or not difficult but it's like i it's whether like do i choose to make a gameplay or do i choose to grind so i do it in my spare time but i i like i said guys this is the most efficient way that i have gotten and i have seen nothing but like a growth in my amount of camos that i get and the fact that i'm almost at two diamond or that i did get them diamond um, for my tacticals is crazy um, but if you guys enjoyed this video you guys know what to do leave a like down below also if this would help out your friends don't forget to share the video as well as clicking that sub button if you guys enjoyed the content and join up on the unbearable boys and girls let's uh let's do that click that bell so you guys can be notified on all of my videos and I will see you guys in the next one peace